Hey everyone, Todd here, internalarchitect.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about staying positive, a change in belief and habits. Now, this is the second chapter of the internal architect concept that I have in my book, Internal Architect. And this one's really important because this was how I was able to kind of just change the, the entire, my mindset into where I was at, into where I wanted to go. Now, I had no idea how how I was going to get there or what kind of challenges were going to lay ahead, but I knew that there were going to be challenges, especially since I was in the middle of treatment, and that's a big challenge in itself, especially since it's not a 100% chance that you're going to get out of it alive. I was fortunate that I did, and but with that said, going back to the first the first one, forgiving in my last video, what forgiving did was it, it allowed me to realize that I wanted to have a lifestyle change and a life change based on the, the direction that I was going at that time. I I had a pretty new family at the time. I was really, I wasn't married yet, but I was deeply involved with my wife now, uh, Erica, and her two daughters, Raina and Kalina. And they really kind of brought something to the table for me that was really kind of special that I felt it. I just didn't know, but I knew that that was the direction that I wanted to go. By forgiving myself, this mentality finally was able to start perpetuating itself and start really creating roots into what everything meant to me. And by kind of starting to psychoanalyze my thoughts, my beliefs, my emotions, and my feelings, and everything during cancer, I was able to really kind of weed out all the all the things that didn't really make sense to me and I started really reading a lot about just about personal growth and about conscious growth and about what it takes to kind of start getting yourself out of the rat race of life and into creating purpose and meaning in your life and you know obviously now with you know at this point in time with my my new family it really started to all come together for me and that all really started because of forgiving and forgiving myself then the next tackle was to start creating these new habits that i could start using to help build on and this has been a really really tough way to go about it but it has been really effective because trying to kill off old habits is like trying to bend steel. It's so difficult and it is possible with a lot of time and patience and persistence, but man, it's it's difficult and the learning process in, as you're doing it is really, really huge and you won't even realize that as you are breaking habits and creating new positive ones that it's like it's like creating this new lifestyle that's happening before your eyes and you don't even see it happening at the same time but you know that it's doing something because it makes you feel good doing it so habits are tough to break you know just it really comes back down to the complacency of of life it's we get so stuck into our ruts into our you know daily routines that we don't necessarily want to get out of them but the one constant thing in life is always change so you would think that changing your belief and habits and trying to stay positive through it really would be a lot simpler or easier said than done but it's it's not and but once you become aware it really becomes this this work in progress and it's a, it's something that I'm constantly working on to this day and I'm over you know I'm going on 10 years in remission at this point so if you think about it you know try any sort of any sort of habit that you have that you don't like and you want to break it takes a lot of change and it takes a lot of dedication and determination and discipline to break that habit and to to just to create this new one that's going to replace it and that's going to be better for not only yourself but your family and your friends and everyone else around you. It just takes a lot of work to create this change and to break habits and I don't think with people being so complacent and you know survivors just finally getting over their their treatment and they're just like I just want to break but that's like that is like the key time to start putting in all this work that needs to happen to create this new lifestyle because one we've been given a new chance at life so we really need to take advantage of it as best as we possibly can 
Something that you're going to lose is what you thought was priceless. Because you're changing these habits, because you're changing these beliefs that are going on, what you felt like was very precious to you at the beginning may not have any value to you at the end. Just remember and be open that and these precious things, they could be relationships, they could be personal items you know there's there's just a there's a whole gamut of different things that what is priceless to people you just need to be aware that those things may not have any value to you once you start down this process i realize that i don't need i don't need a lot of stuff i don't need a lot of things that make me happy all i need is is my close relationships and and food (laughs) I like food, so that's a that's always going to be a tough one for me to break. But, you know, food has gotten a lot better for me, and I'm being a lot more diligent about my portion sizes. So, again, coming back to the change in belief and habits, I'm changing the habit of overeating, but I'm enjoying the foods more now, you know. So this is just a good example of how, how that could kind of relate. You know, there's the change at the end of the day and the decisions that you're going to make are really just they're for the better. You know, it's it's not really something that is going to negatively affect you as long as you have the right intention involved. I could tell you all day of the things that you have to and you should do and this and that and whatever. At the end of the day, it comes down to what is what's important to you. Is it important to to get off the couch and to do something that isn't going to be the same as it was five minutes ago. That complacency thing is is really the buzzkill of, of what our motivation does and how it can affect everything else that goes on in our lives. And when you want deep down to have this change in belief and habits, you have to be open to the changes that you need to make psychologically and physically to make it all happen. And that means that you it, these changes these changes are for the better. That's the best way I can put it. Yeah, so yeah, so the change in belief and habits is a really good way to start taking what you have learned by allowing the weight lifting off your shoulders from forgiving yourself and forgiving everyone else around you to start the next chapter into rebuilding yourself from literally the ground up. And you know, the change in belief and habits is really a foundational part to to the growth that needs to happen. And I can't tell you how I can't tell you how strongly this has affected my life in such a positive way. And I'm still constantly working on breaking habits and just replacing them with ones that that are going to be even better for me in the future. So if you like what you hear, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And You know, I'll respond as soon as I possibly can. And, you know, I just want to say thank you for your time and your energy into watching the videos. And, you know, I love doing this and it's 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 a great outlet for me to kind of help those that have been affected by cancer. So, again, thank you so much and I will see you on the next video.